this was years ago during the raging storm, but I didn't get to it. So we're doing this now. Uh, where is that a good message? Yay. Okay, so if you don't know, during the raging storm, um, Twig Branch and Finleap. Sorry, I forgot his name. Um, but Twig Branch and Finleap have a little thing where okay. Sorry. Twig Branch is the protagonist of the arc, if you weren't aware, and her mate is Finleap. Basically, they left Sky Finleap left Sky Clan with her. But when he came to Thunder Clan, he does something that I honestly want a reason to throw a book. There is never a good reason to throw a book unless Finley exists. But basically, he deme- he basically just goes, "Oh, when am I getting my children?" And um, Twig Rand has a great response to this: "You're supposed to love me, not the family I might give you." And this is actually a good message. It's one of the few things that warriors um, stay canon with because normally warriors will say something and then like five seconds later it's like, oh, I'm gonna go contradict that now. Haha, <laughs> I sure do love plot inconsistencies. But they still, as of thunder, do not have any children. So that's nice. Um, especially because people were speculating they would. Because at the end of the Raging Storm, Elderheart says something about Twig Branch looking um, plump. But personally, I don't know if the writers put that in there to make us think that. Or they put that in there and then forgot they put it in there. Either way, it is still pretty depressing. That is a good message. For once. Out of all the messages in Warriors, this is one of the few that actually has some amount of moral standing shall I say. Usually, they say something and then contradict it in like five seconds. Uh, especially with ships. Literally, uh, come on. Some I can just name off the top of my head. J Feather X Hoffman. Why? Like, dude, that so contradicts J Feather's character. Entirely. Why do we get that garbage when we had a perfectly good, wholesome j- ship with J Feather X Briarlight? I'm not saying they should have, because, you know, the medicine cut code must be respected and all. But, you know, that was a weird tangent to go on. This had nothing to do with Jay Feather. But, considering the fact that Warrior Cats usually contradicts themselves constantly, it's good to see that they're actually sticking to something for once. And overall, that's just depressing. That I am congratulating them for sticking to one moral standing. I know there's probably other things that they've stuck into. This is just one that I'm just like, wow, they actually stuck to something for once. And that's a little depressing, but hey, at least they had a good message. Thank you all for watching. Also, I'm now looking at the new models and just realizing, <laughs> why does Shadow Fern look like a little loaf? Shadow Fern is canonically taller than Light Fern, and she is just sitting there like a squashed little bean. And subscribe to join Fern Clan.